We're so glad you're with us on the four covering East Alabama family and officers asking for your help now in the search for a missing man in Aniston. D'Angelo Allen was seen last almost two weeks ago now and Bria Chapman, our East Alabama reporter, is joining us live after speaking to Allen's family about what they're going through right now, Bria. Yeah, Morgan, it's all pretty sad. D'Angelo Allen has a really tight knit family and his mom says that this is why they're so concerned because he's never gone this long without talking to his parents or his children and they're asking for your help. I'm just looking for my son. Just that's it. Well, my son home. D'Angelo Allen was last seen on September 21st. That's the last time his family heard from him. Now, after almost two weeks, they're posting flyers and working with the police to see where Allen could be. It's very out of character for him to be gone and not be in contact with somebody, with his kids, with his parents, with his siblings. That's rare for um, nobody to have heard of him, which is what has caused us concern and why we decided to reach out to, um, to like the news outlets and to do the flyers. We walked around and posted flyers and went to every place we knew he would go. His mom, Adisa Pruitt, describes the father of three as a creative person with a love for music and art. Funny. He's really funny. He loves music, so he's usually in somebody's recording studio or recording himself, making um, videos, putting them on Facebook and YouTube. And he has a smile light up that world, light up a world, man. I just want my brother brought back. That's it. The Anderson Police Department says they've been working on this case since last Friday. They say they're following up on all tips and leads they're receiving. We're exploring all the possibilities. We're not ruling anything out. We're just, we are either following up on every tip we have or, you know, there's still some leads and some people that we're attempting to make contact with right now. And the police department says there is no tip that's too small. If you know anything or if you've seen D'Angelo Allen, they ask that you contact them. And there are multiple ways to get in contact with the Anderson Police Department and share those tips. And I'll share that information later on our WBRC News app. Live in Anniston, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side. A former